So the first thing you want to do of course is you want to prime your lid and to prime my lids I'm using my soft over paint pot by MAC and this is going to ensure that our eyeshadows last all day and that they don't crease and they stay put. Just to blend that out I'm just using an eyeshadow brush just so everything is nice and smooth underneath. This eye is super super easy to create. For my transitional colour or transition colour, I'm using Raw Eyeshadow by MAC and it's just a lovely orange shade and this is just going to help um, the other colours, the darker colours that we apply there later on to blend easily. Taking Brown Script by MAC, it's just a lovely warm brown, I'm just going to apply that to the outer V just to sort of warm up the area. This isn't really going to be a smoky eye as you can see but just to deepen the crease I'm also going to apply this brown shade from my Too Faced Chocolate Bar which smells absolutely delicious I mean I don't think the palette smells like chocolate but it smells really really good and just to deepen the crease I'm taking what eyeshadow is that? Cork <laughs> by MAC and I'm also applying brown down and I'm just going to apply that right on top of brown script <laughs> Taking this peachy shade, I'm just going to apply that all over my lid and you just want to keep that on the mobile lid area, you don't want to take it too high or up. I think the shade is called Salted Caramel but I'm not too sure but you just want to pat that all over your lid. And to create my cut crease, I'm going to be using my concealer by MAC in NC45 and I believe it's the Select Cover Up Concealer and I'm going to use my angled brush and I'm going to use this to define my crease and I want it to be really soft so I'm just going to sort of keep it in the the outer area and you just want to sort of define your crease using that same peachy shade I'm just going to blend out that line slightly and then I'm just deepening the crease using brown down and then I'm just going to apply a winged eyeliner I sort of want my eyeliner to be straight so I'm just using an angled brush to do this and what liner am I using? I believe it's the L'Oreal liner I'm not sure the name but I'll leave it down below trust me to be out of frame whilst applying eyeliner it's always me when I do my eyeliner I have to like zoom in and just be like super close to the mirror so sorry about that guys <laughs> up my eyes I'm just gonna apply some concealer to my waterline to brighten up my eyes a little bit I'm gonna take this pigment by Barry M and I'm also gonna apply this white shade from my Too Faced palette I believe it's the white chocolate and I'm just gonna apply that to the inner corners of my eyes and this is just gonna open up my eyes slightly <laughs> So of course I'm going to be adding lashes, you can skip this step but I personally feel like no eyeshadow look is complete until you apply eyelashes, it just sort of brings the look to life. Um, I'm not sure what these lashes are, I'm not sure of the number, I just picked them up from a random store but um, I'm sure you can find something similar, I will leave um, similar ones down below. So to highlight underneath my eyes and also to conceal my um, dark circles I'm just applying my concealer by MAC with my beauty blend and I'm also applying a bit to the centre of my forehead um, I'm not going to go into too much detail because you guys have seen this routine like so many times so I don't want to bore you guys I'm also going to colour correct using my Prep and Prime highlighter by MAC this one's in Peach Luster and I'm just going to apply it to the areas 
where I have um, blemishes and also around my mouth area because I do have some discoloration over there. Foundation time. So for my foundation, I'm using the Coken Doe. I'm not even sure how to pronounce it. The Coken Doe Moisture Foundation in 302, and I'm also mixing that with my Giorgio Armani Fluid Sheer in number 10. And this is just going to give me a really gorgeous um, glow. I love this foundation because it's quite light, it's not too heavy, and it gives a really gorgeous dewy finish. So I'm just going to apply that all over my face, and of course, I'm going to blend it. And to blend it, I'll be using my Real Techniques. To brighten up my highlight, I'm going to go in with my Kevin Aquan Sensual Skin Enhancer in SX11 and I'm going to apply that underneath my eyes and to the centre of my skin. To set and highlight, I'm going to use my banana powder and I'm just going to apply that to underneath my eyes using this cosmetic sponge. Um, I prefer to use this, it just allows easy application. And I'm also going to take this Fashion Fair Press Powder. Now, I have like this silly wrinkle, this line in the middle of my forehead and this helps it not to crease. So I love it for that and on top of that I'm going to go over it with some banana powder. To bring back some definition, and dimension to my face. I'm going to be using my black opal foundation stick in Sway Mocha and I'm just going to apply that to the hollows of my cheeks and my temples and just to darken it a bit I'm going to go over it with my Studio Finish Foundation by MAC and I believe this shade is in NW58 and I'm just going to buff that into my skin and when blending out my contour I like to just buff it upwards because I feel as though that gives it more of a natural finish. I'm also going to blend it out on my forehead of course and just to sort of blend it out even better I'm gonna use my sponge To make my contour pop, I'm just going to apply some Ben Nye powder and I'm just going to leave that to cook and this is going to just make us look like, you know, we have cheekbones because I don't really have any. And then I'm going to blend out my highlight underneath my eyes using my Mineralize Skin Finish, which I forgot to show you guys. Um, you want to take away that um, cakey look and that pasty look, so you want to really blend it out just so it looks, you know, flawless and natural. Highlight 
the bridge of my nose I'm gonna use my um, sensual skin enhancer and I'm just gonna apply it down my nose and I'm gonna set that with my Ben Nye banana powder Using my mineralized skin finish again, I'm just going to blend out the banana powder that we used earlier and I'm also going to contour my nose and I'm using my sleek contour kit to do that. For blush, I'm using this one by Black Radiance and it's called Toasted Almond and I love this blush. I use it every day. I just think it's great, you know, if you don't want too much colour and I'm just applying that to my cheeks. Now you guys know I love a good old highlight and this is like my new favourite highlight at the moment. You know I always have a new fave. And this is Melon Pigment by MAC and I'm just going to apply that to the highest point of my cheeks. So this is going to make it glow and look amazing and just glowy and dewy and gorgeous. I'm also going to apply it to my chin and the centre of my forehead. <laughs> Because I don't have lashes, I tend to go a little overboard with mascara, but you know, there's no rules in makeup, so why not? I'm just applying mascara to my lower lash line. For my lips, I'm using this gorgeous Chanel lipstick. I absolutely love it. It's such a cute pink and it's really nice for everyday wear. Um, it's called Adrian. My friend kindly gifted it to me. I'm not sure if it's out yet. I think it's on the new collection. But anyways, I'm just going to apply that to my lips. You guys are going to laugh when you see my lip pencil. But it's like my favourite one and I feel like, you know, I can't find it anywhere. I've checked everywhere and they're out of stock. I can't find it anywhere. So I'm going to use it until I can no longer use it. And I'm just going to line my lips. So, you know, it kind of makes the lip look less pale on my skin tone. Now, of course, you know, Jennifer O'Neill is complete without that fix. Plus, I love this stuff. It just takes away that cakey look and it's just going to make us look glowy and dewy and gorgeous. And this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.